The scripture says because uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And the word iniquity is the word lawlessness. So, enter lobotomy. It's one thing to be lobotomized physically. Um, But just look at that for a moment. I'm not going to go into the technique in which they used, but basically they removed parts of the brain in a very barbaric way. And the people that went on, undergone this procedure, this very barbaric procedure, um, lost the ability to basically uh, control impulsive behavior. So they became very impulsive without restraint. Now, the plan of the New World Order is to bring order out of chaos. So, first of all, there's got to be chaos. And I believe that there is a systematic lobotomy taking place right now, worldwide, globally, that is not being done with an ice pick of sorts. It is being carried out through hypocrisy. It's being carried out through lawlessness. Let me explain. When you have leaders that are supposed to be examples of leadership and they are exposed for some of the most heinous crimes, What happens is you have people that see that and say, well, if the leaders of our country are corrupt, if they don't have any moral compass, why should we? This is the breakdown of a society. When you have a leader that is corrupt. Corruption corrupts absolutely. And so their plan is that they would do these corrupt things like Hillary Clinton and then it would be exposed. That's all plan. That's part of the process. They want you to see her exposed. In fact, she wants you to see her exposed if she's not one of their lab rats it's possible that she's part of the part of the uh, program doesn't know it. That's how deep the rabbit hole goes. But um, the whole plan is to create an atmosphere of lawlessness, chaos. And so what they do is they take people that are in leadership positions, people that people look up to, and they open up their closet. Of skeletons. Now, when the king of Israel, David, committed the crime of not only, um, you know, taking another man's wife and committing adultery, but going further than that, having the the her husband killed conspiring against her husband, having him killed. But the way God dealt with this was, God said, David, you did this in secret. But before the sun goes down, all of Israel is going to know what you did. What was God doing? He was trying to appenge. I think I'm using the right word. He was trying to... uh, stop the bleeding he was trying to um, suppress not so much suppress but to hold back I guess suppress is a good word but more like restrain God knew that if the people would have found out what David did without any remorse it would have bred anarchy chaos 
So when you have individuals like Bill Clinton, supposed to be the President of the United States, and is brought out into the light that he has committed adultery, and then you have Hillary Clinton come along and say, I forgive him, and act like it never really happened. That's part of the lobotomy. That's part of removing that part within American society or any society that would say, you know, adultery is wrong. And I guarantee if you look at the statistics, you will find that there was an increase, an unbelievable increase in the United States of America and even around the world that there was an increase in, uh, in, in, in adultery. I guarantee it. I guarantee that there was much after that where uh, there was a lot of this going on in the United States after this. And that's the plan. That's the plan. That's just one example. Do, do you understand what I'm saying to you? When you have parents that are not moral, more than likely the children won't be moral. See how it works? So it comes back to leadership. Amen? I've heard them say, you know, why don't you be the one to stop the cycle? In your family. You don't have to continue it. You know the Bible talks about how it's found from generation to generation. The curse or the you know the, the sins of the of, of a generation. You know it's just from generation to generation to generation. But you don't have to let it continue. Just like racism. You don't have to let it continue. You can stop it. In your own life. See everybody can stop. You know, sin in their own life. It doesn't have to continue. It can be restrained and even destroyed. The problem is, is it's perpetuated through self selfish individuals that are not willing to give up their own will and deny themselves. And so understand that the lobotomy that is taking place in the United States is hypocrisy. It's lawlessness. It's corruption. It's a new kind of lobotomy, but it's working. And there's a breakdown. Remember this, the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit is self-control. That's what we need. The Holy Spirit. God bless you.